Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. So today I'm going to teach you emergency Ramya inlet operation and its component. So if you are still new to my YouTube channel, I'm Keshara Vikrama Singh. So uh, today, ATA chapter 21, air conditioning system, zone temperature control, lesson number nine. So today we are going to learn emergency Ramya inlet operations and components. So if you are still not subscribed my uh, YouTube channel, Kavish Engineering, please subscribe my YouTube channel. And also uh, if you missed the previous lessons, uh, please uh, check the card uh, in the above. I put the playlist so you can check this card and also you can check my description and then you can go through each and every lesson. All right. So no need to take the time. So let's go to the lesson. All right. So in this lesson, you will learn about emergency Ramya inlet operations and the location and description of its component. All right. Okay. So you can see this is the graph, right? So this is the aircraft, uh, the flight deck, forward cabin and aft cabin. All right. So this is the mixture unit and these are the packs, right? So the, the operations and how the AI is comes and what is the operation. So I teach in the previous lesson. So if you miss these lessons, please go and check these lessons. All right. So let's see. Uh, the aircraft is equipped with one emergency Ramya in the flap located at the lower left hand side of the fuselage sharing the same duct with low pressure ground connections right so this is the emergency ramya in the flap so this is sharing the low pressure ground connection right so this, there is a flap and there is a check wrap right so you can see the 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 actual view so this is the emergency ramya actuator all right okay so now in case of failure of both packs in case of failure in the both packs, an emergency Ramya inlet flap can be opened, right? If, if there is a failure in both packs, the emergency Ramya inlet flap can be opened for aircraft ventilation or smoke removal, all right? So in case of smoke removal or loss of both packs, the Ramya push button must be set to on, right? If there is uh, the two packs are lost or there is a smoke, so then we have to uh, set to on the Ramya push button. All right, so now let's see what happened when RAM air push button is pressed in. All right, you see when set to on, when RAM air push button is set to on and if ditching is not selected, if the RAM air push button is set to on and the ditching is not set to on, it means it is in off position, uh, the emergency RAM air inlet opens, right? If the RAM air push button is pushed on and if the ditching is not pushed uh, on or in, it is in off position, the RAM air inlet uh, will be open. A flap installed between the low pressure ground connections and the RAM air inlet closes one side of the duct when AI is supplied from the other side, all right? So the check valve stays closed. Still, the check valve is stays closed and the aircraft must descend to the less than 10,000 feet. If, uh, then the aircraft must be descend to the 10,000 feet. All right. Okay. So when the cabin to ambition air differential pressure is less than one PSI, right? When the cabin to ambient air differential pressure is less than one PSI, the pressure controller has opened the outflow valve. All right. So when the delta P is less than one PSI, the air goes through the check valve to the mixture unit, right? So you can see it's go to the mixture unit and then goes to the flight deck, forward cabin and aft cabin. All right. So now uh, that is the operations. Okay. Very simple. And now let's go to the components. So you can see the component this is the emergency Ramya actuator. So this is the emergency Ramya actuator. So it is situated here, right? So uh, emergency Ramya inlet actuator, it consists of 28 volt DC motor. This is consists of 28 volt DC motor with two travel limit switches and two limit switches for ECAM indication. All right. And then the emergency check valve. So here you can see the emergency check valve. So this is the normal view, right? You can see the emergency check valve. This is situated in here. So the check valve is installed in line with the air delivery duct between the RAM air inlet and the mixture unit, right? It prevents mix mixer unit backflow. It prevents what? It prevents uh, the mixture unit backflow. 
all right okay so that is the end of this lesson this is very short lesson for okay so the next lesson i will going to discuss about the description and the operation of the pack components in detail so stick with my channel and if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe and share this video with your friends who like or who love or aviation special for airbus so uh yeah that's all for today and we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you